Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Darko Metals. In today's video, I'm going to show you the process that I used to use to engrave things on metal art projects. Now, I don't do it that much anymore because I have Dana, and Dana is just a very, very talented artist. Um, I have no artistic ability whatsoever. If I can't beat on it with a hammer, um, it just doesn't come out right. So, I used to use this engraving tool, but today, I'm going to take a shot and actually use Dana's Air Scribe and see how they compare. Uh, never used it before. I know that this thing has a lot more power. It's capable of tearing through marble, but uh, <laughs> there's a first time for everything. So let me show you the process that I use. All right, so what I'm going to be engraving today is the Pewter CX that I made for my April Fool's Day video. Uh, a lot of people thought it was kind of funny, enjoyed it, had a good laugh, but uh, I'm going to use this for a little bit of educational value before I just throw it back in the pot and melt it down. Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that Dana does all of the engraving work. That's because she's an artist. I am not. Um, I am severely artistically challenged when it comes to freehand drawing and things like that. But what I want to do is an engraving somewhere on this blade, and I want to show you how I cheat to get my engravings done. All right, guys. Now, if this were a steel blade, I would be doing this right about the time I'm at my 100 grit finish. Um, after this, I would rub it down again with 100 grit, then go to 220, then 400. But what I'm going to do is take a little bit of very cheap spray paint. And uh, this is flat white, just something I picked up at Walmart. It's uh, like 96 cents a can, so when you're looking for cheap paint, Walmart really steps up to the plate. And I want to put my engraving right about here. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to spray very lightly. Okay. Just kind of a dusting. And I'm going to let that dry. Now that my paint's dry, I want to create a pattern. Now the pattern I want to use is a Celtic knot. So I made two copies of this. One was the initial, just to get the size. And then I made another copy that's more of a grayscale image. I'm going to take a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut it out. And we'll trim it down. And I want to put it right about there. So the next step, and this is the cheat, carbon paper. I have done this on wood, on metal, on all sorts of stuff, and this is how I can be a little bit artistic even though I have no artistic talent whatsoever. So I want to cut this a little bit longer than my pattern. I'm going to put the pattern. I got a little bit of a kink in you here. On top. And then I have some uh, masking tape here. It's a brand new roll, and I cut my nails. There we go. Ah, don't tear. <sighs> Pathetic. I should have peeled myself a couple of pieces of tape before I started filming because I knew this was going to happen. But it's not rocket science. All right. Now, where did I put my pencil? Ah, there it is. And all I'm going to do is trace this pattern on the blade. Yeah. 
And I don't know how well you can see that, but the image is now transferred to the pewter. Now I'll engrave it. Alright guys, pay no attention to my absolutely crappy engraving skills, but you get the idea. Well, I am extremely rusty at this. Uh, as you can see, I had the pressure turned up way too high in the beginning, and I cut a swath through this like it was jello. Um, I've never engraved pewter before, uh, and I've definitely never used the air scribe before, and the air scribe is a tool that's capable of engraving marble because it has a diamond tip, so it's got a lot more power than your average Dremel engraver. Um, but it does give me the desire to want to sit down and practice with it a bit more. It is rather fun to use, and it's, it's pretty relaxing to use, too. Now, don't take my artwork here as an example of what this tool can do. Um, Dana has been doing the pewter pendants with it, and she does the pewter pendants freehand. Now, these are uh, runes, and she has a couple of different ones. Uh, actually, we have the entire I believe it's the Elder Futhark alphabet. And she's even done some really intricate stuff with it. Uh, we had an opportunity to vend at an event called Pride in the Park, and it was a great event for all of the Copper Roses. And Dana decided to throw together some Pride flag uh, triangle pewter pendants. And then we have, um, get this lined up this one as well. And she did a few other ones. But uh, you can see that she can really hold straight lines. She can not necessarily even have to follow a pattern to get really, really good results. But if you're like me and you're not artistic, the transfer method using the carbon paper really is a good way to lay yourself out a template uh, on the material. And if you use a flat paint, uh, the pencil will stick to the flat paint a little bit better. And you only really want a dusting because uh, you don't really want to have to sand off a whole lot of excess uh, paint from your project, of course, you want to try to speed things along and an extra process to remove the paint uh, isn't always for everybody, but it's the method that I use and it's the method that's gotten me by in the past. So on that note, I hope you learned something, maybe found this a little bit useful. Uh, I also use that transfer pattern onto wood for wood burning. Uh, when I use my wood burning tool, I've done big Celtic knots in the past, so it's, it's pretty handy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.